Hello guys, it's me Miss Renu. Hope you're doing very, very well. I'm back with a new physical topics and today is going to be our last PowerPoint of distance learning and we will finish our science book and we will also complete the curriculum that's it for us. So Today's topics are physics exactly. So the subjects that I will explain for you is light and sound energy, renewable and non-renewable energy, and exactly I'm going to explain lenses and we have two types of lenses convex lens and concave lens and also I'm going to explain the uh, new energy resources which is renewable energy and non-renewable energy which is fossil fuels and we're going to also explain the uh, energy of today and also energy for tomorrow so let's catch up guys at first we should know what is light light is a type of wave that carries energy through matter or space a source of energy such as the sun or light bulb give off light waves that spread out in all directions from the light source a light ray is a narrow beam of light that travels in a straight line and as I mentioned, we have two properties of light and also that we have two types of uh, 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 light properties. We have the convex, we have reflection and refraction of light. Light reflection is the change in the direction of light, of light wave falling on a reflective surface. So, we, we usually think about light as rays that start at a source such as the sun and travel in a straight line until they strike some things. Guys, we know that we have two properties, reflection and refraction. And reflection is the colors of light that objects reflect are the colors we see. So, I have a question. Why? why a leaf looks green to us because of the green leaf absorb much of the sunlight that strikes it the rest of the light the green part reflects of the light that's why the leaves look green guys we know that we have three types of matter according to absorption and bouncing and also absorbing light. We have transparent and translucent and we have opaque. So, the light often refracts when it moves from one transparent substance to another. But the mirror reflects all the light that strikes it. But... The clear objects, which is called transparent substances, the light rays that bend and passing through them. But the opaque substances, these objects are, are absorbing all colors of light and producing a shadow. So, reflection is the light that change in the direction of light waves falling on a uh, on a reflective surface so refraction is different refraction is the bending of light when it passes from one medium into another medium so that's mean light rays bend when passing through the clear objects the clear objects are called transparent substances look like the glass and also the prism that we have here and also that lens those are clear materials when the light pass through the clear materials they will bending light this process or this phenomenon is called refraction so for example where is the fish actually at if you were fishing using the diagram and tell me why so we have apparent vision and actual vision so the fish is actually further than that the man will see 
because we have refraction right here when the light when the light rays pass through the transparent substances they will refracting light that's why we will see the false image or false picture for the object that we are focusing on for example, due, uh, due to the change in the medium, the light bands making it appear the object in the water is in a different locations like the man's body. So, guys, look at here. We have apparent vision and also we have actual vision. So, we have the apparent uh, vision for the fish it means that the fish is in a right way and in the correct way but the actual one is that the one that the light bends and the light rays bends on an object which is the fish so reflection occurs when a wave changes direction at a boundary between two materials but refractions occurs when a wave changing direction as it changes speeds when passing from one materials to another materials guys write me a sentence explaining the similarities and then the differences between reflection and refraction in a piece of paper and don't forget to write your name and send it to me so guys we have two types of lenses at first we should know what we mean by lens lens is a piece of a clear material that bends or refracts light rays that passing through it and there are two kinds of lenses are convex lens and concave lens convex lens are usually used to make objects look larger so long as you have the object close to the lens for example we are using convex lens in magnifying glasses and also we are using convex lens in telescope eye lens our eyes is containing the lens which type of is it it's a type of convex lens in microscope and also in camera we are using convex lens like mirror if the object is farther from the lens it will produce an inverted image that can either be larger or smaller depending on how far away is it so uh, as i mentioned what are lenses lenses are two types convex and concave a lens bends light in a certain way most devices that control light have one or more lenses inside of them so we have convex lens and concave lens convex lens we call them positive lenses why because they will converge or focus light and can form an image but concave lens we call them we call them negative lenses they will spread out light rays from an object concave lens is different from the convex lens always producing smaller upright image of the object guys look at the lens which is right here in the rest of the hand this type of lens which is spherical in shape is called concave lens because they will give us a smaller picture and also upright image of the object and not as common as a convex lens use it in some types of eyeglasses for for nerdness and some telescopes so what are the uses of convex lens so we are using convex lens in different ways in magnifying glass and also in cameras telescopes our eyes is also a type of convex lens and also we are using them in glasses but the uses of concave lenses are eye glasses have one convex lens and one concave lens surface that work together to bend light just the right amount before it gets to your eyes so but the uses of concave lenses are used in bin binoculars 
and flashlights and also eyeglasses those are types of the concave lens that use it to producing these objects so we are finished the light energy we're gonna talking about the sound energy at first we should know what is a sound and what is the properties of sound energy sound is a form of energy that caused by vibration and to vibrate means to move and to move back and forth rapidly what vibrates are the molecules that make up matter can there be sound without vibration exactly no because we don't have the movement of the molecules with each other that's why there is no energy and there is no sound and and guys so as i mentioned all type of vibrations they can producing sound so so we learn some topics about the sound so sound is a special kind of wave and sound waves are longitudinal mechanical waves in a medium or sometimes the medium is not necessary for transporting it another definition of sounds are which is related with biology it's a physical sensation that stimulates the earth sound waves need a source a vibrating object as i mentioned without vibration or without the uh, vibrating of molecules with, e with each other we don't have any sound energy is transferred from one source through medium with the longitudinal waves detecting so we can detect it, the sound energy by some detectors and could be electronic detector or ears and so what is the sound wave the mechanical wave which is called longitudinal waves and when there is a vibration the vibration causing the particles of the medium to disrupt it or to moving from different directions and when there is a movement of particles it's causing a wave and then it will producing a sound most common medium is air can travel through the solids and liquids sound also move as waves and we know about it most of the sound waves we hear travel through air but sound waves also travel through liquids such as water and even through the solids if uh, so when the sound source vibrates it produces a number of vibrations the number of vibration producing in one second is the frequency so the frequency at which sound moves waves or the waves moves determining that type of and which type is it so the sound has two properties or what are the two properties of sound we have pitch and volume what is a pitch guys at first let me explain it for you the pitch is yeah the pitch is the term used to describe how high or low the sounds are so pitch is a term that we use to describe how high or low the sounds are all sounds are caused by vibration when those vibrating objects occur it forming a sound and and the word pitch is often used to describe the relative highness or and lowness of the voice every individual has a level of pitch which is normal and which we can recognize as his or her middle pitch level 
and and usually women's voice is described as sharp or high pitched and men's voice as thick or low pitched as we move from one string in the out to an upper string the pitch of the sound decreases and guys let me give you a fast fact about pitch as the older we get the pitch range we can hear it will decreases properties of sounds there are several ways in which sounds can differ from one another they can be louder or softer they can be a high or low pitch and they can be melodic or just noisy measurable quantity which is mean the effect on air intensity loudness frequency it means pitch but harmonic content it means the quality and guys the second properties of sound is a volume what is a volume is the measure of the amount of sound energy that crosses perpendicularly a unit area in one second so as i mentioned the sound have two properties the first one is patch the second one is volume and guys here is a uh, the, uh, here's a diagram you should uh, recognizing the soft sounds from the uh, from the loud uh, sounds you should write each one of them in the correct way so you have a megaphone you have a paper airplane triangle whistle uh, line rose and also you have alarm clock mouse and whisper so guys you should recognize each one of them and put it in a correct way solve it and send it me back and guys we finished the two different types of energy and before talking about fossil fuels i have a question right here guys please answer this question which substances do sound travel faster through the cotton milk iron or oxygen so we know that the sound energy travel faster through the solid substances and also we have a limited rate for each materials around us the the sound passes through the air in 340 meter per second and the sound energy can passes through the water is 1500 meter per second in silver it can pass uh, uh, through the silver materials uh, within uh, 2650 meter per second please ask the question so in what substance do sound travel faster in cotton milk iron or oxygen which one of them is the correct one and guys now i'm gonna explain the new topic which is fossil fuels or burning well, sorry burning fossil fuels produce heat at first we should know what we mean by chemical bonds chemical bonds are the bonds that joining atoms of carbons to each other and to another atoms of other elements such as hydrogen and fossil fuels what are fossil fuels so fossil fuels are fuels that form it from remains of once living organisms that include coal natural gas and petroleum so we are dependent on fossil fuels for many of things we use this includes cooking air cones electricity and transportation so we have basically three types of fossil fuels fuels are of three main types they are solid fossil fuels like wood coal charcoal and we have liquid fossil fuels are including kerosene petrol and diesel and also we have gaseous fuels which is uh, hydrogen and also we have a propane 
So different types of fuels, as I mentioned, we have solid, liquid and gases. So guys, you have a question, please pay attention. Predict which type or what type of fossil fuels you think will give the most energy. Which one of them? Select one of them and tell me why, why you are selected that one. So, so which type give us more energy? Is it coal or oil, ethanol, kerosene or gas? Which one of them give us most energy and why? And what are the uses of fossil fuels? Fossil fuels are the main source of energy in most of the countries. Coal is taken from the earth's crust by strip mining or by deep mining. And guys, we know that we are using the fossil fuels and widely in our daily life. And also people use this energy in many ways in homes, offices and schools. And uh, thermal energy is used to heat water or air and uh, the gas stove, the natural gas or bottled gases such as propane is used to provide the heat for Cooking food, natural gas is usually distri distributed through the underground pipelines, bottled gases. And also, guys, we are using different types of fossil fuels like petroleum. You are the is the main source of energy for transportation for cars, trucks, buses, trains, and places. And also, we are using. Uh, uh, fossil fuels for making plastics such as the ones in the boat and puddle and helmet and also fossil fuels are also used for purpose for purposes other than thermal energy production for plastic fertilizers chemicals and some medicines are made partly from petroleum and coal so even shoes and clothes may be made partly from the petroleum. So, and what are the five main uses of the fuels or the fossil fuels? So, we are using them, as I mentioned, for cooking and for transportation. We are using them for, for manufacturing in companies and uh, also in uh, machines and also we are using them for heating and cooling and also using them for generating electricity to run machines and uh, appliances and also we are using them for producing their shoes clothes and also for making plastic chemicals and fertilizers and also some of them are used for producing the medicines guys look at here and um uh, so we uh, energy cons uh, uh, we are using uh, energy and consuming them by sector. So we have uh, using the fossil fuels for uh, generating electricity about 40% and we are using 28% uh, of uh, fossil fuels for transportation and we are using 21% um, of the fossil fuels for industrial purpose and also we are using four of them or four percent of fossil fuels for commercial and for companies and machines and also uh, we are using only seven percent for for residential process processing and so guys before talking about hydroelectric energy you have a homework right here write me four uses of fossil fuels and in a piece of paper so guys, we are finished about the fossil fuels, but why, why are fossil fuels considered as non-renewable resources? So in the beginning uh, of the uh, this uh, PowerPoint, uh, I told you that I'm going to explain renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources, uh, I'm going to explain it, but non-renewable resources are fossil fuels like um, uh, nuclear energy, like um, um, fossil fuels, coal, natural gas and petroleum and charcoal those are non-renewable resources of energy that means they will not replace it uh, by another types of energy and uh, so the fossil fuels are take millions of years to become 
and to forming a new type of fossil fuels. Uh, that's why they are describing as non-renewable resources. The scientists um, know that the small supplies of fossil fuels are, but there are good reasons to use other sources of energy. And recently, the scientists knew, knew that the fossil fuels can forming a great disadvantage to the to the earth's surface and also they can causing global warming and also causing different effects on uh, the life on earth so why why the scientists have alternative to fossil fuels because when the first reason is that to use the other use of uh, the first reason is that sorry Fossil fuels are needed more and more time to be formed. For example, need 100 million years to be forming one type of fossil fuels. And also it need more and more time to make things such as a new type of plastics. Fossil fuels may also turn in out have uses not yet discovered. The second reason that's why we are uh, you, we should use alternative to fossil fuels. Another reason is that for you uh, is the the uh, when we are using the fossil fuels or we are u burning fossil fuels release large amount of carbon dioxide into the air some scientists are concerned that the carbon dioxide may trap the heat in the earth's atmosphere and causes environmental change such as global warming which is the really bad har and harmful effects and that's why we should we should quite from using the fossil fuels and we should use alternatives the alternatives are other energy sources or energy for today uh, the first one is called a hydroelectric energy and which is the renewable energy guys i mentioned non-renewable energy which is types of fossil fuels but what we mean by renewable energies renewable energies are energy for today which is hydroelectric energy the second one is biomass the third one is wind energy the fourth one is the solar energy the first first of all i'm going to explain the hydroelectric energy hydroelectric energy is the it means that the electricity generated from the force of falling of the water and and the most common type of the hydroelectric plant uses them on a river to store water in the reservoirs again what we mean what we mean by hydroelectric energy hydroelectric energy is the use of the flowing water to create electricity and as i mentioned we have two types of energy resources we have renewable and non-renewable energy resources renewable resources are solar energy hydroelectric energy wind energy biomass and also we have the solar energy but non-renewable energy which as I mentioned, it needs more than 100 years to be formed. It takes a long time to be formed, like coal, nuclear energy, uh, charcoal, and also uh, different type of the energy that is a type of fossil fuels. So first of all, I'm going to explain what we mean by non-renewable energy. Non-renewable energy are resources that can't be replaced or are replaced very slowly maybe taking 100 years or more to renew for example the fossil fuels are continually produced by the decay of plant and animal matter but the rate of their production is extremely slow very much slower than the rate at which we use them so what are types of non-renewable resources we have coal oil and petroleum we have nuclear energy and we have natural gas and petroleum but what is renewable resources renewable resources are natural resources that are found naturally in the ecosystem look like uh, they have unlimited uh, supply or renew within a few years they can renew themselves and renewable energy resources can be used again and again and will never run out so the types of renewable energy that's found uh, 
throw in the environments look like biomass hydroelectric energy geothermal energy solar energy wind energy those are energy that we are getting them in the uh, uh, naturally sorry we, we can get them naturally and takes a few times to be renewed and the first type of renewable energy it was hydroelectric energy electricity generated from the force of the falling of the water the second type of renewable energy is biomass biomass is organic material is organic material made from plants and animals which is mean we are using microorganisms to producing energy biomass is a renewable energy resources and third type and uh, the third type of energy which is called nuclear energy nuclear energy is the energy that's stored in the nucleus of an atom nuclear energy is unusual in that it can give off energy in the form of light or heat and nuclear reactions there are two types of nuclear reactions that release energy we have we have nuclear we have nuclear fission and nuclear fusion in nuclear fission is differs from the nuclear fusion and nuclear fission is the splitting of the nucleus of an atom that release amount of energy this energy is called nuclear fission but nuclear fusion is different in nuclear fusion it means that one of the for one of the the future source of energy is fusion and it releases when the nuclei of two small atoms are forced together to form a larger nucleus and this is the same of the process that happens in the core of the sun that heat you feel on a sunny day so as i mentioned that nuclear fission is different from is different from the nuclear fusion nuclear fission is the process that splitting a nucleus into two nuclei with smaller masses fission means divide or to divide that remember that the fission splits into two parts guys look at to this picture below the first one is nuclear fission it means that separating or splitting a large atom into two or more smaller ones but in nuclear fusion it means that joining or uh, rejoining two or more lighter atoms to forming larger one and the third type of renewable energy is called wind energy which is called wind energy wind energy is one of the oldest form of energy that used by people and we are still used all over the world and many of the many of farmers use the windmills to pump the water from the from below to the ground for irrigations and wind energy is the kinetic energy possessed by the air due to its velocity and it is a form of renewable sources of energy and it can be utilized for performing mechanical and electrical work and before talking about um uh, what at first we should know what we mean by solar energy and is it a type of renewable energy or non-renewable energy and and uh, solar energy is uh, is a really is a energy of sunlight that and there are several ways to use solar energy solar collects absorbs and focus the sun's energy to heat the water and uh, solar panels changing the light energy directly into electricity and as i mentioned the solar energy we can get it from the sun or from the sunlight so energy produced by the sun so 
uh, solar energy is a renewable source of energy and uh, harnessed by solar collection methods such as solar cell and we can convert it into usable energy such as electricity guys right here you have a task before talking about the task i will give you a really small and short example about renewable and non-renewable energy for example hair in on your head if you have a, if you had a bad haircut so you don't be worried about it because it uh, because they will uh, grow back in a short period of time but if your arm if you are losing or losing your arm it can't be renewed again so your hair is renewed but your arm it is non-renewable resources this is a suitable example about renewable energy and non-renewable energy if you are cutting your hair it will be grow back again but if your arm or you're losing your arm by an accidentally it is non-renewable energy or it will not be renewed again and guys right here you have a task you should uh, solve the questions uh, write me five examples about non-renewable energy and five examples about renewable energy and right, right here you have light we have two sources of light we have natural light source and artificial light source we know that the artificial means that they are found naturally in the nature but artificial when it's man-made or human-made types of light and uh, right here we have another uh, task you should solve it before uh, talking about this task uh, uh, as i told you we have two types of uh, patch we have pitched and unpatched sound and patched sounds usually have some degree of pitched of them and as i mentioned the older we get the pitched range we can hear decreases guys this is all about the topics of today and right here you have another task please focus on it and you should solve it and send it me back as soon as possible and uh, guys uh, uh, before before finishing the powerpoint i'd like to tell you that uh, i'm very um i'm very loving for you and uh, love you wherever you are i hope i hope to meet you as soon as possible and uh, in conclusion i wish you success and enduring successes uh, you are truly distinguished students in all respects i am sure that a bright future is waiting for you please guys stay healthy and stay safe and don't forget that i miss you all and i hope you uh, i hope you get uh, some useful informations and don't forget that guys and i wish uh, i wish you get a uh, really uh, nice informations and guys at last don't uh, i ask you to be uh, do not be worried i will continue with you and inquire together questions and information that are not clear please we will keep in touch and also if you have any question or unappeased substances or uh, any unclear objects or informations you can call me uh, we will discuss it with each other i wish i wish i wish you could you could get um, really uh, some useful information about uh, those videos that i prepared recently and uh, from a previous videos also uh, i wish you stay healthy and uh, stay safe and don't forget that uh, truly i miss you and i love you all with my best wishes bye bye guys